how do we delete a thing so let's go back to the web page yes you can see that so you the requirements that you can select a user so you can select a user here. so then you can either so what you do is you add a click listener on the on the row basically in javascript uh, and then you figure out the user so there's different ways you can do that the cheeky way is just well getting to this cell what's the content of this cell okay that's three that's the user id i go and request the user id i put it in this page where again i have this field that contains the, uh, the the user id this one probably should be made uh read only and then you when you have the delete user you can again look up what this user id is from uh you can put a an id on this tag so if we go to do the inspector let's see how this is implemented the dev tools should be able to tell us so there is the input with a type user id so we have an id we can just go and uh, in our javascript we can just get the element with this id um, then get the text out of that and make this work and we might want to do something like that and make it slightly less uh or, or or something like that to make it slightly less horrible um uh and there should also be abilities to actually make it uh uneditable but i don't remember by heart what the ability was uh uh enable nah it doesn't uh, there should be some way you have to look that up so that's how you do the uh, so the delete request just gets the user id and uh, makes that request with the correct url you want and i would advise that your api is compatible with regress some students found that the uh, so that the regress API and the UI is not consistent. So you can either leave it as 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 is and not really handle with jobs, for example, or you can update the new user dialog to act uh, um, to actually do things like. Uh, allow you to have a URL for an image or to have uh, and, and have all the other properties you can do that it's not required to make both consistent it's nice to make it consistent but not required in this case um, however if you want a new user to work and end up in this list you might want to add some elements that at least you have something there and then you can just put a dummy avatar image if you want to <laughs>